Why don't we just do an overview of what Pterosaurus to Birds is? Yeah, we'll just... Just an overview. Just an overview, and then... Leave it for another episode. Yeah. So... Wow, this has less evidence than Peter's. Wow. So basically... Pterosaurus to Birds... Is by a person who goes by Dr. Pterosaur... And say that, and says that uh, pterosaurs evolved into birds, which mm, no, not really. They really didn't. Um, basically, I'm pretty sure he has an article on the rundown of this website summary right here. So they say that long bony tailed ramphorankids evolved into long bony tailed. Scanosauropteryids, e.g., Scanosauropteryx, and uh, those evolved into derived um, bony tail, derived long bony tailed parawes, e.g., Enchiornithid, and, and then those that went extinct. It's important to point and, out that this website is pterosaurnet.blogspot.com and not pterosaur.net which is a fully, a completely reliable source. And then the second part is long bony tailed ramphorankids evolved into short bony tailed pterodactylids which evolved into short bony tailed skinosauropterygids which evolved into pygostelia which evolved into modern birds. So, and just all around is no. It is not right. Like, uh, when the article is saying, oh, uh, look at this. It's literally uh, Tupendactylus and Epidexipteryx. And like, oh, they both have really long four, fourth fingers. Uh, they both have a short bony tail, stage illa feathers, membrane wing, and some more skull openings. Which is literally just convergent evolution. Because Epidexipteryx, you know, fun fact, Epidexipteryx fits all the characteristics of being a dinosaur. Literally all of them. So it doesn't make sense that they would be a pterosaur. Unless they're saying that uh, a dinosaurian traits, all of them, Convergently evolved during the evolution of uh, pterosaurs. Yeah, all these people. Which literally. also doesn't make sense because then we'd have, you know, other fossils. They all think that it's all converged evolution, except Darren Parker, but Darren Parker's also just insane. Yeah, it's. That's more of just like insane rants. Yeah. Okay, I'm just learning this, and I've seen something that they consider Psittacosaurus to be a theropod. Makes sense. Oh. Like this, this diagram right here, this is, uh, uh, this is just, Mm, not right. Wait, hold on. Wait, 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 wait. Oh, whoa, 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 Is he saying, well, it's, uh, I can't see gender here. Are they saying that parasaurs are dinosaurs? Because, oh, uh, this is so strange. What? Uh, 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 oh. This is so strange. So, are they saying that Velociraptor is a pterosaur? Huh? Uh, are they saying that theropods aren't dinosaurs? I mean, that theropods, that certain theropods are dinosaurs, but certain ones aren't? Could. This is just... Wait, it puts Calendodromius yep. as a theropod. Yep, and they must have the source. I, this definitely needs to be. This is. We'll definitely cover oh. this another time. 
No. No, no, you cannot say this. No, they said that basal parawis had a partially closed, aka cup like acetabulum that allowed them to sprawl their legs. Do I have to say anything here? No. Like, genuinely. This seems like something that a young Earth creationist was saying and probably has said. I've heard multiple arguments from young Earth creationists saying that uh, birds have up, like, aka closed acetabulums when they actually don't. Like, you go to basal parawis. All right, let's go to, say... Well, uh, what's a good basal one? Raho Nawis, you're 70 million years in Kionithidate. Oh, I can't see a hip here. But, um, uh, how old is Paleopteryx? 150. Okay. Let's take a look at, um, the specimen of Paleopteryx. If this doesn't include a hip, I will be sad. Uh, skeletal. It, no, like, uh, okay. A basal uh, paralysis, Darulong, right? Let's take a look at Darulong, 121 million years old. It has a fully open acetabulum. Like, I can send a skeletal diagram in, uh, fully open, you can see it in the diagram, uh, right there. Uh, you can see that right there. Uh, um, but yeah, you can see the quote that says. The, basically, it's like the truth passes through. All truth passes through three stages. First, it is ridiculed. Okay. Second, it is violently opposed, and third, it is accepted. Which is thing that a bunch of people who have stupid ideas say. Because they're like, yeah. well, this philosopher said that the truth is always it starts out ridiculed, but that also doesn't mean. It doesn't mean everything that's ridiculed is the truth. Huh? <laughs> that's the only reaction I give. What? Okay. Uh, that's right. Okay. There's so many things wrong with that statement. And just like, oh, uh, again, then be said like, oh, flat earth. First, it's ridiculed, uh, which it is. Then it's violently opposed. I guess? And third, it's accepted as being self-evident. No, it will never be. It, that's just... brain damage. Like, all pseudoscience is... all pseudoscience is... uh... ridiculed. That doesn't mean it's all gonna be self-evident. Yeah. Also, that would... <laughs> That means he's implying that anything that is ridiculed instantly is base is true. Yeah, which again doesn't make sense because that means. All right, let me just go over all the pseudoscience theories I can remember. Um, uh, a large amount of eh, a large amount of cryptids are real. Uh, that means that dinosaurs don't exist. That means pterosaurs don't exist. That means the Earth is flat, the world is 6,000 years old. Um, it means that the government is putting poisons in the water. It basically means that any conspiracy theory or pseudoscience or just any stupid idea is true. Like, I could claim that it, it like, there's an entire conspiracy theory iceberg and that means everything on there is true. Yeah. Which all combined is... <laughs> it would also mean that basically that a bunch of things that contradict each other are true. I'd much rather go over 11. I'd much rather go over 100 David Peters articles than one Pterosaurs to Birds articles. Because Peters has more evidence than this. Yeah. But, yeah, I mean, see you on the next one, next week. Yeah. Um, uh, goodbye.